Back in September 2021, we brought you the story of a very young and very creative entrepreneur. This is what he did. He traded his way up from a paperclip to an actual ice cream truck. It's quite a return on investment. Well, now a year and a half later, Paperclip's ice cream, fittingly named, is expanding. Our Michael Martin has the story. This all started as an interesting idea for a TikTok video. Joel Hagen traded a paperclip that looked just like this for one thing and then another, starting small and ending up with an actual ice cream truck. Well, after a year of operating that one, he's taken his profits and bought another ice cream truck, seeing how far he can take paperclips ice cream. I tell people, you know, I got this ice cream truck for free, kind of. As the pandemic was setting in, Joel Hagen was at the drawing board, making TikTok videos and looking for his next opportunity. I was working as an ax throwing coach at an ax throwing warehouse. Um, I was their coach and sales rep. And then I got laid off and because they deemed ax throwing non-essential. He decided to take on the unusual task of acquiring an ice cream truck. Not by purchasing said truck, but by trading a paperclip. So for my first trade, I traded this normal sized paperclip for an oversized brass antique safety pin. A paperclip for a big Shout brass pin, and, and then that pin for a video game and so forth. Happens. I was able to trade this for a Nintendo Switch version of Super Smash Bros which has a value of about $60. Until he had a working ice cream truck, and at that point, a new business venture. We were called Paperclips Ice Cream because I started with a paperclip and I traded up to an ice cream truck and people like double take and they say, what, can you, can you explain that? And I just, I love telling the story because it adds to the brand, it adds to the satisfaction. Fox 17 spoke to him back in September 2021 as he was getting things off the ground. First season went really well. Um, a small truck, I'm a big guy, but it, it worked really well. The truck was perhaps a bit more cramped than he wanted it. I can't stand up in the little truck, which is kind of unfortunate, but there's still plenty of room for me to sit up in the truck. But when I'm serving out the window, I have to hunch over. But now he has expanded his ice cream operations. I found this truck on Facebook Marketplace and I had to have it. It was perfect and with only about 50,000 miles on it. I wanted to be able to do bigger and better events. So now I'm looking like I can do, you know, Amazon or um, Amway, the big things. And there's no way I'll run out. Now with two trucks, it's still just Joel and his wife making things happen. But Paperclip's ice cream is showing no signs of melting. It took a lot of work, a lot of um, intentionality, a lot of stick to itiveness But as far as monetary value, there's even in, in both of these trucks, really nothing out of pocket. Looking ahead to another season of serving up an all around delicious experience. So it's more than just buying ice cream out of a truck. It's it's helping support the story and being being a part of the the fun. To follow along with Joel's journey of trading and ice cream, we've got links up now on our website. For now, in Wyoming, <sighs> Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.